You mentioned his money today. You've mentioned many sure. times uh, to, to newspapers around the state you've visited and in sure. appearances you've made around the state, he's a $25 million man. The sure. money doesn't necessarily mean anything. But you acknowledge that in right. politics, while it's not everything, money does matter. It's something. He has much more money than you do, right. according to the last campaign financial reports. Let's acknowledge he will have more money than you in this race by some sure. significant magnitude. Mm -hmm. He's run for statewide office twice as Supreme Court judge, uh, uh, justice successfully, okay. attorney general three times successfully. Uh, his name ID is probably higher in Texas, right. let's acknowledge, than you are. And again, there's this idea of inevitability. The press has probably been complicit in this in saying, well, Greg Abbott is the likely Republican <laughs> nominee. I would agree with you on that. Right. <laughs> so, so those are the realities of sure. the situation. How do you run smack into that well, and hope to be successful? But, I'm sorry to talk process no, before no, no, substance, no. but how do you run smack no, into that but, and but, give anybody hope you can win? Evan, he hasn't had a race. He hasn't been vetted. I mean, look, he was appointed to the district bench in Harris County. I don't think he'd even voted before he was appointed a Republican district judge. Then he's moved up the ladder to the Supreme Court and then moved up the ladder when John Cornyn was moved up from Attorney General to uh, the Senate. He's never had a race. And in fact, they basically told me, people uh, well, Kirk close to the Kirk process. Watson may, Kirk Watson might take a little issue with that. Well, but that's, you know, that's at a time when the Republicans, it was an inevitability of a, of a Republican. You're victory. really talking about in the Republican primary. I'm talking primary. about in the Republican primary. Right. He's <clears throat> never had a race. This is his first race. And he's going to have a serious race uh, in the general election if Wendy Davis gets in the race. And I, look, I disagree with her philosophically, but she is a smart lady, not a stupid lady, as one of... Uh, uh, his uh, top advisors called her the other day, and she's uh, got a lot of determined people, and so I don't underestimate uh, uh, this, uh, this November race. And I think I'll be a much better candidate uh, running against Wendy Davis than Greg Abbott. If, if you were not running chairman, would you be comfortable supporting General Abbott, or would you not be a supporter of his in the absence of your own candidate? I, I, well, I'm, I'm very uncomfortable with the direction of the Republican Party in the post-Reagan period, this top-down, big money, special interest, crony capitalism approach. Uh, I think it's a broken system. Uh, there's too many of these uh, uh, folks that are listening to the folks that write the $100,000 checks, and there are not enough people listening to the grassroots folks that are out there, the middle class taxpayers right. who feel frustrated and forgotten. And, uh, and we better start changing and getting back to our roots if we hope to uh, not only uh, stay uh, a Republican in Texas, but also have Texas lead the nation back in the direction I would like to see it to go. So you could not support Greg Abbott? I didn't say that. Yeah. I just said I am not comfortable with the crowd running things, and I think ultimately they will bring us all down whether it's this time or four years from now, if you keep doing what you're doing, it's a broken system. And I said the same thing. We saw it with the Bush presidency morphing into the Obama presidency, and you could see it happening. And we've lost the coalition. We've got to figure out how to put the economic and social conservatives back together. We've got to build from the grassroots up, yep. and we have to be a policy-driven party, not a poll-driven conservative party from the top down. And that's what we've got today, and let's be frank about it. 